do you think kind of those losses were? Maybe the loss of Mitch also was to kind of putting a sense of urgency to the team. Um, I mean, I think that kind of really woke everyone up. Um, I think we've been doing a great job of stepping up without him, without Mitch, you know, and uh, we had a couple of injuries, you know, at the beginning of the season. I think right now we're just uh, kind of banged together and just, um, you know, we all know what we had to work with now and, you know, we're, we're perfecting our roles, I think. John? You heard Jordan talk about the last three game stretch. Same question. I mean, what, what in your mind is it, did it do for this team, especially with the younger guys? It definitely gave us a lot of confidence, you know, playing, um, you know, top 25 teams and, and being on the road and having to face adversity at times, I think that, that definitely kind of, kind of, we all grew from that moment, those moments, um, you know, and winning big games on the road is, is definitely boosts everyone's confidence on the team, you know. Um, I think we all love that atmosphere of, you know, people hating us and doubting us. Um, and I think that kind of, like I said, banded us together and just created a will that we want to win. Brendan? With the offensive looks that you've been getting of late, it, are you trying to get more action at the basket, or and I think there was like an 0 for 5 night from 3, maybe the second to last game. Are you trying to get it more inside, or just waiting for maybe, maybe yeah. waiting for the jumpers to start falling again? Yeah, I mean, of course, the, the shots aren't falling. You know, um, I think, you know, I heard Coach say I've been in, in the gym getting up reps, and, you know, there's no doubt in my mind those shots are going to fall just like they were, um, you know, a couple games ago earlier in the season. Uh, but Coach is drawing up, you know, more stuff for me to, to attack from the post, you know, inside a little bit more. Um, when my shot doesn't fall, I try to go inside, get rebounds, do extra things to help the team out. So, Mark. Last year in both Purdue games, you were pretty emotional, you know, pretty excited, fired up. Is that something that it was just because it was the first time going at them both times, or is that something that's going to continue with you just because of your father and yeah. uh, Indiana? Mm -hmm. I think that's that's something that's going to continue, you know, uh, being from Indiana. Uh, my dad played there. You know, there's a lot of talk about uh, maybe I shouldn't have, should have went there, you know. You know, there's no doubt in mind that I'm at the right place, you know, but I love playing against Purdue, IU, you know, those uh, Indiana games, and that's something that I know Zach can't, can't wait to uh, look forward to. So it'll be another great game, and I love playing those. Yeah. Glenn, what's your responsibility as a captain to make sure that there's no letdown after mm -hmm. getting through that tough three-game stretch? Yeah. I mean, well, we've had, you know, two off days since Michigan State, you know, just keep everybody focused, keep everybody, you know, hungry, you know, as a leader. I think that it's my job to go out there and practice with the right mentality, you know, because the minute they see me slacking or, or anything like that, or Jordan or um, John, you know, they the whole team will. So um, I think that's something that we've been doing a great job of, and that's why we're having the success and, you know, uh, still staying hungry. Rock? Talk about the team's versatility, and coaches talk about it's always difficult to dial up two guys. We get two or three guys going in one game. But it seems like you guys have five or six guys who could, in any particular game, start going on for 15 or 20. But does that take some of the pressure off that you don't feel like every game you've got to do it or maybe Nick doesn't feel like he has to do it every game? Um, you know, I don't think there's, there's pressure to begin with, but um, it's definitely uh, something that we see where, you know, we have five guys who can go off for 15, 20 points. Um, you know, and I think that's, that's kind of what makes this team, you know, a, a, a pretty solid team is because, we have different guys who can score in you know, a number of different ways. Yeah. Yeah, Answering my back and watching the film, that uh, when Russell blocked you last game, that uh -huh. kind of started the shouting match. Do you think that kind of lit a fire under you guys? You guys took the lead right for that? Definitely. Definitely. Um, you know, I, I kind of walk, walked away from the situation, you know, uh, turned back and, and Jamal was still talking to him or whatever. So I think that definitely fired us up. You know, the play before the coach got hot about something. Um, you know, I knew from then, then I, we we're going to win that game. Um, you know, just because of the mentality that we have, and you know, like I said, I've, I've never seen a, guy, a group of guys so uh, committed and bonded with each other, you know, like this team. So I think uh, from that moment, I knew we were going to win that game.